Yo, what's up guys, Chats here and I'm bringing you a new tutorial today. Um, this is going to be a, another um, slightly more advanced one to the last one, um, but this is what we're going to be creating this time. Um, it's a volume knob uh, to control volume, obviously. Um, this works nice with interface design if you are into that. And there are the sirens if you can hear them. They're, they're like trademark now. Anyway, but these... Uh, these are good with interface if you're an interface designer they go well um, so knowing how to do this uh, might uh, be quite useful um, but yeah uh, what I'm gonna do is just get rid of all of these and start over <coughs> I'm gonna make my background just a light grey and um, start off by going to elliptical tool ellipse tool um, and I'm just going to select this in black. Uh, oh yeah, we're going to bring our rulers in uh, into the middle just to know where we're making a circle from. Oh, I'm getting tweets. Uh, anyway, um, so we want to just pull it out by selecting in the middle and holding down Alt and Shift and it will create a circle like so. Uh, I want it to be about that big. That's good. Um, then we're going to want to go into <coughs> gradients, gradient overlay. Um, we don't rasterize any of these layers because you don't need to. Um, but then we're going to select this as angle and go to a dark ish grey, well, lighter than dark really. Um, and then delete the white. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You've got to put that there, make sure you've got that selected and then click over here and it will create another one delete the white one and then you just want to put these at 50 so down here you've got location that will be 50% 75 and 25 so just adjust that to them locations um, and then you want to create a new one but a lighter grey like so and have it in between these ones oh crap I have changed that one. I'm an idiot. One second. Okay, there we go. Alright. Put it there, there, and there. And you see you kinda got this um metal uh circular effect. Um but then we're gonna add darker ones about there and then we want it to be in line with that, like so see how you've got that effect now. Um, I might make them a little lighter. There we go. That looks good. Let's change that one. There we go. So now we've got that kind of effect. Um, next thing you want to do is add a bevel. Um, before I carry on I'm just going to say um, I'm not sure how long this tutorial is going to be so if it's um, if it goes over 50 minutes uh, ish I'll kind of make it in two parts um, but if not uh, it should be alright. Um, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, you want to make your depth uh, highest it can be, and then move your size up to about 10 ish. Bring your black shadow down to here, about 21, and just brighten up the the light a bit, and uh, kind of just get that effect around there. Um, now, what you want to do is just add a bit of a do drop shadow, not too much, uh, distance all the way down, and then like so that should be fine right now you've got that you wanna go to your ellipse tool again and you wanna create a circle which is just kind of inside the bevel like there and what you wanna do is go to fill pull that down go to effects gradient overlay and then you want to select black to transparent and do reverse so it's up at the top bring opacity down to about 15 ish and there we go you kind of get a bit more shadow effect coming from the um, bevel um, and yeah now I uh, hope you're up with speed uh, now we create a new ellipse tool there's a lot of ellipse tools in this um, and create that under these two layers uh, oh no, no 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 I'm doing that wrong you want to create a new layer there's a more accurate way of doing this and then hold down control and click the um, thumbnail there vector mask thumbnail and it will come with the marquee tool here then what you want to do is go to edit 
stroke and you're going to put that to about yeah 25 which is mine mine's already set as depending on how big your canvas is and then what that will do it will create a rim instead of filling it in it will just be around there which is pretty good um now next thing you want to do is um change the color of this uh so we're just going to mask it so we're not using any effects for it change it to like a darkish gray about there and go paint bucket like that now what you're going to do is go to effects in a shadow and you're just going to make a um, shadow on the inside of this um, if you just look at the box and uh, see the um, measurements and stuff it is 5, 16 and 13 for the distance token size and that should be good click OK um, then you want to then you want to um, go to a new layer well, you don't need to do that if you create an ellipse again. Um, but bring that out behind these two to about there. And you want to change that color to a light gray. Oh, it doesn't matter. And then what, what you want to do is you want to go back to the um, main button, this one here, uh, with the gradient. You want to copy the layer style and then paste it on this one. And then we're just going to make a few adjustments, adjustments to it. Um, first of all, go to bevel and just bring the sides all the way up so it's about there um, let's see yeah size all the way up just bring the depth all the way up as well and then um, I mean you can pull it down and you'll get a kind of light effect right on the rim but it's not very sharp like there you can just see it um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create that effect myself, just put that all the way up so there's no rim, click OK. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer above that and do the control on the thumbnail on this rim here so it brings up the light, uh, the inner one there with the inner shadows. Um, then you just want to pull that down uh, with the arrow key, um, pressing that two times. And then we're just going to go to gradient and white and then fill that in there. And what that will do is it will give us a light effect um, kind of reflecting off the rim of this so it looks uh, a bit more 3D. Just pull the opacity down to about 40 and that is looking good. Alright, um, now we're going to create a new layer up here. Oh, it doesn't matter, we're doing an ellipse tool again. And um, <clears throat> just to line this up, I'm going to make a mark kind of here. Um, if you want to do this, you can. I'm just going to go to brush and pull it down and then with the pen tool that I've just created I've gone from the middle directly diagonally down like so stroke path on a new layer and just brush that way it gives me a marker so I know where I'm putting my next layer which is an ellipse tool and then you want to just place that about there like so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push that up a bit there we go and you can now get rid of your marker then we're going to pull fill all the way down um, and then you just want to come into inner shadow and make them for your adjustments keep keep it 5, 0 but then make that 27 and um, maybe just play around, around with it so you get a better effect I mean you want a bit of a drop shadow like there that's good oh wait um, if you want you can just add a little white stroke on it um, make it stand out a bit and there we go so that's our main button done, but in this inner shadow we are going to want um, a kind of glowing mark marker to show where our, um, our volume, where it is, which is where that little circle is. Um, so what you want to do is take this inner shadow layer that you have here and you want to duplicate that and duplicate it again. And then now you've got three of them, and the middle one you need to go in take off the inner shadow and basically all you want to do is um, wait, let me change that I don't think we need the bottom layer no we don't okay you just want to come into this and select color overlay oh why is that not working oh because this one's on top oh sorry okay so you want to come into here um, in fact we'll mask the layer we won't use a color overlay and you'll select um, whatever color you want uh, preferably a bright color that will look good with light 
uh, kind of outglow. Um, I'm going to lower that inner shadow, it looks pretty dark. Uh, pull this down instead. That will do. Okay, and then what you want to do is you just want to merge that mask down of the colour you've done, and you want to come to the middle again with your um, polygon lasso tool. Come to the middle, click the middle, and then you want to hold shift and go diagonally down like so. So it goes over that um, that circle there. And you just want to pull it round all the way to the middle the middle line here and pull it straight down so it starts here and ends up there if you see what I mean alright now you've got that you want to add a little bit of glow so go to outer glow make that a light green like so and then just pull the size out a bit um, so it's about there mess with the opacity see what the best effect is and um, yeah that is pretty much it um, can make the background a bit dark so it stands out nice, nicer uh, and there you go add a bit of out glow to it and that is your final product I'm not sure if, oh no it's not because for some reason this has changed. Hmm, what have I done? Oh, right, yes, I get it. So this has got to come down here. Because basically we got rid of the grey layer that was behind it, I didn't even think. Okay, you want to put that one behind and then just pull the fill all the way up again. And there we go, got that there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, it looks pretty nice, the final product. I'm not sure if it's exactly the same as the last one that I showed you before. Um, but looks pretty good. Um, and thanks for watching. Um, I'm hopefully going to do a couple more tutorials um, in the next few weeks, as I said in the last one. Um, obviously, you can suggest, suggest some things. No guarantee of me doing it, but um, I'll have a look. And uh, just give me some feedback on the tutorials. Uh, please like if you uh, found this helpful and uh, useful. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. Peace.